In the previous video, we learned how to compute the matrix vector product. That is, if we have an m by n matrix and we multiply it by a vector from fn, uh, we can get a vector in fm. And so now consider the matrix equation, ax equals b right here. And so as we're talking about this matrix equation, think of the following. The vector b will be a specific fixed vector in Fm, so this would be given to you, and likewise the the matrix A, which is an m by n matrix, which will also be fixed. This is given to you. On the other hand, the vector x, which lives in Fn, this is meant to be a variable. This is what we're trying to solve for. And so in section 2.2, this is the matrix equation we're concerned about: Ax equals b. Well, given the way that we defined matrix vector multiplication, you can write the, uh, so assuming A has its column vectors, A1, A2, up to AN, and so these are in fact vectors. So if you have that A has column vectors A1, A2, up to AN, then the, well actually, well then, it's, it's already right here, then the matrix vector product is exactly this linear combination right here where, as we mentioned before, the columns of A are just the vectors A1 up to AN. And if the entries of X are X1, X2 up to XN, expanding that product gives us this linear combination. So this matrix equation, uh, 2.2.1, is just equivalent to the vector equation we saw in the previous section. And as we've learned, this vector equation is equivalent to a system of linear equations, which is then represented by this augmented matrix, which the coefficient matrix is just the matrix A itself, and then the augmented column is the vector B. So the matrix equation AX equals B is equivalent to the linear system represented by the by the uh, augmented matrix A augment B. And so we've defined matrix vector multiplication exactly so it coincides with this notion of linear systems. And so this just gives us a different way of writing the same thing. So consider the linear system. Uh, we have two equations, three unknowns. The first equation is x1 plus 3x2 minus 7x3 equals 5. The second equation is negative 2x2 plus 11x3 equals 3. Uh, we can rewrite this linear system in a lot of different ways. Uh, we could write this linear system as an augmented matrix. We get 1, 3, negative 7, augment 5. We also get 0, negative 2, 11, augment 3. And so we've used this augmented matrix as a way of encoding the system. And then we start doing row operations to this augmented matrix to help us solve it. On the other hand, this linear system is equivalent to the vector equation x1 times the vector 1, 0, plus x2 times the vector 3, negative 2, plus x3 times the vector negative 7, 11, and that equals 5 and 3 there. Where, of course, the, the coefficients in this linear combination are unspecified variables. These are the exact same variables in the linear system. Then the vectors in play coincide with, well, the columns of this augmented matrix. You have 1 and 0, 1 and 0. You have 3 and negative 2, 3 and negative 2. 7, whoops, negative 7 and 11. You want to get a Slurpee there, right? Uh, you're going to get that one right there. And then finally, the 5 and 3 gives us this right here. So there's this, uh, these, the, the column vectors in the linear combination are exactly just the column vectors of this matrix. But then we've now added a way of, of representing this linear combination more succinctly as a matrix product. We can essentially think that the linear combination is an expanded form. If we want the factored form, we get the following matrix equation. The matrix A, which is two by three, is given as one, three, negative seven, zero, negative two, 11, which are just the coefficients of the, are just the coefficients in the linear system, which are of course the coefficients of it's the coefficient matrix of the augmented matrix. You times those by this variable vector, x1, x2, x3. This is just x right here. And then on the right-hand side, we get the vector b. So we can rewrite a linear system as a vector equation. We can write it as a matrix equation. And the solution, the solution to the matrix equation the solution to the vector equation, the solution to the linear system are all the same. 
those three different problems all have the same solution set and we can solve each and every one of those linear systems by row reducing the associated augmented matrix. So let me be clear, the augmented matrix doesn't have a solution set because the augmented matrix is just an encoding of the systems. But the linear system, the vector equation, the matrix equation, these are actually problems that can be solved. We solve them using the augmented matrix. And the solution to one of those, like the matrix equation, the solution to that one is the same as the vector equation. It's the same as the linear system. And so in fact, we then see that B, uh, so this equation AX equals B here, it's consistent. It's consistent exactly when B is a linear combination of the column vectors because this matrix equation can be written as um, x1, a1, plus x2, a2, all the way up to xn, an. This equals b. So this the, the, the matrix equation being consistent is when this vector equation is consistent. As we saw in the previous section, this equation is consistent exactly when b is in the span of these vectors here. In this case, it would be the column vectors of the matrix, A1, A2, up to An. So solving the matrix equation is equivalent to solving um, all these other, other equations we've seen so far in linear algebra.